A vehicle that can go the distance, charge in minutes, and save you money. Sounds like a fantasy, right? Well, not anymore. Say hello to the BYD Yuan Plus, the world's first EV powered by sodium ion batteries. The BYD Yuan Plus is not just a car, it's a game changer. It's a statement that EVs can be fun, smart, and affordable for everyone. It's a challenge to the status quo and a vision for the future. A battery material that can charge quickly, cost less and not face supply problems is what the EV industry dreams of. This dream might soon be a reality in China, where the world's leading battery manufacturers, CATL and BYD, have begun mass producing sodium ion batteries. This is a remarkable move, as sodium ion batteries were thought to be only suitable for stationary uses by many experts. BYD, the largest EV producer in China, has amazed the industry by introducing the first electric car with a sodium ion battery. BYD has fitted a sodium ion battery in a small city car and created the most affordable electric car for less than $10,000. BYD plans to implement this new battery technology across all its EV models as it offers many advantages over lithium ion batteries. What is this new electric car with a sodium ion battery like? Could it be the future of electric vehicles? How well does the car do in reality and how does it stack up against the lithium competitors? The first tests were very impressive. BYD stands for Build Your Dream, and the company is nearing making people's dream of cheap, dependable and affordable electric cars a reality. But first, let's quickly go over the benefits of sodium and some background information to understand its revolutionary nature. When you look at the periodic table, you will notice that sodium is next to lithium and has very similar physical and chemical features. But sodium is much more abundant, being found in salt. Sodium batteries are a superior choice to lithium batteries for several reasons. First, sodium is more abundant and cheaper than lithium, which is scarce and expensive. Sodium can be derived from ordinary salt, which is less difficult and damaging to extract and process than lithium. Lithium extraction releases a lot of CO2 and contaminates the environment with harmful chemicals, including water and soil. It also relies on rare earth elements that are environmentally problematic and subject to shortages and price spikes. Second, sodium batteries are safer and more recyclable than lithium batteries, which have a risk of thermal runaway that can cause them to burst into flames or explode. Third, although sodium batteries have lower energy density and performance than lithium batteries used in some Tesla models, they are more cost-efficient and dependable for the industry's sustainable growth. Lithium hydroxide's price soared from $6,800 in 2019 to $78,000 per ton, while sodium hydroxide's price is below $800 per ton. Therefore, cost is the most significant benefit of sodium over lithium. Lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries are the main choice for Tesla and other car manufacturers. They use iron, which is abundant and cheap. They are also safe and long-lasting. They can go through 3,000 charge cycles. Their energy density has improved from 125 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram, which allows them to cover 210 miles on one charge. However, sodium batteries are a close rival to LFP batteries. They have overcome their low energy density problem. CATL first sodium battery can store as much energy as the current LFP battery and aims to store even more with the next one. This makes sodium batteries very attractive for the industry because they have two advantages over LFP batteries. They can fill up their energy faster and they can keep their energy better in cold climates. While LFP batteries suffer a big loss of capacity when it gets very cold, sodium batteries only lose 10% of their capacity at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The first company to experiment with sodium ion batteries in a small urban car was Seahawk, a relatively obscure Chinese firm. They achieved impressive results. The Seahawk E10X had a sodium ion battery with an energy density of 120 watt hour per kilogram. 
and it could cover a respectable distance of 155 miles on a full charge. It also had a fast charging time of only 15 minutes to reach 80% of its capacity. This makes it perfect for drivers who only need to travel short distances in the city. This is a remarkable feat for an electric car that only costs $6,800. The battery's price could drop by up to 40% when it is mass-produced, which would make electric cars more accessible to everyone. However, the first company to introduce electric cars with sodium-ion batteries in their best-selling models might be BYD. BYD is the world leader in rechargeable cars, with over 1.8 million units sold in 2022 and also the fastest growing one. The company began testing the materials for the sodium ion batteries in December last year and will continue testing in the first quarter of 2023. They hope to have some preliminary results by June. If they are successful, BWD plans to mass produce the sodium ion batteries in the second quarter of 2023. They will use them in the BYD Seagull, which is a smaller variant of the Dolphin model and designed for urban driving. The Seagull will have two choices, a sodium ion battery version and a lithium ion battery version. The sodium ion battery version is expected to have a price tag of about $8,484 and the lithium-ion battery version is expected to have a price tag of about $11,600. BUED's Seagull comes with two types of batteries, lithium-ion and sodium-ion. The lithium-ion battery can power the car for 250 miles, while the sodium-ion battery can do 185 miles. BYD plans to introduce sodium-ion batteries in its smaller EVs like the Seagull and the Quinn Dolphin first. Then, it will also offer them in less expensive versions of its best-selling models, such as the BYD HAN, the BYD SEAL, and the BYD Auto 3. This will reduce the price of these high-end models, as batteries are the biggest cost factor of an EV. Sodium-ion batteries have a chance to grow in the market if lithium battery prices remain high until 2026. CATL, the leader in producing sodium-ion batteries, and has long-lasting partnerships with carmakers like Tesla. So, sodium-ion batteries could become a common choice in the industry and make electric cars more affordable, reliable, and safe. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about BYD's groundbreaking sodium-ion battery technology and how it could revolutionize the electric vehicle industry. BYD has shown that it is possible to create affordable, reliable and sustainable EVs that can compete with conventional cars. This is a huge step forward for the environment and the future of mobility. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. We would love to hear your thoughts on BYD's sodium ion battery EVs in the comments section below. Do you think they will change everything? Would you buy one? Let us know. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.